So tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is uh, Bill Britt and I'm a court qualified cannabis expert. I'm a volunteer with Orange County Normal, which is an excellent organization that works behind the orange curtain that has fought oh, yeah. for, uh, to bring cannabis to, to light and to make it accessible to patients. Every city in Orange County had a, a ban, a, a virtual ban on any kind of dispensaries. Uh, the, uh, Candace Hawes, who's the director of, uh, of Orange County Normal, raised the funds to put a ballot initiative forward and force the city to do their own ballot initiative. Because we did that, today we have uh, ca legal cannabis being sold in, in, the st in uh, Orange County, right. specifically in Santa Ana, which is the seat of Orange County. And then I believe, uh, I think there's even uh, now licensing for manufacturing in Costa Mesa, as well as uh, I think uh, Newport was thinking about doing something over there too, right? But, but it, nobody wanted to do anything. Nobody we wanted to be the first one. We really had to force them to do it. Oh, yeah. We've been fighting you know, for forever since 1996 to get the, the counties and the cities to come out, come in line. Yep. And it really took a concerted effort. And it was just a, a group, a nonprofit group. People underestimate the power of one, or one person or even a small group of people. Our country needs a lot more of that right now, doesn't it? That's why it's so important that you support normal or other groups that are, and now, especially now, that uh, even though the laws are, everybody thinks, oh, it's legal, now we can rest. No, we got to make sure ra rational uh, uh, regulations are put in place that are not so draconian that it's, it creates a black market. Uh, if the taxes are, what, 75% and you can't write off anything, you're, you're basically screwed, right? Right. And I get it. I, I became an expert by uh, working with Orange County Normal and different groups and volunteering at the court. I started working, uh, helping patients who were being arrested and taken to court. And I uh, actually uh, created a career for myself where I'm being paid by the government to be a cannabis expert. By That's awesome. It all came from volunteering, from helping people. You know, awesome. And being a member and uh, supporting and being a member of groups and getting out there and getting involved. Cause it's yeah, really important. It, it really does mean getting involved. People, you think everybody else is going to do it, and then nobody does it, and then you know we're left in these holes, and then we got to dig ourselves out of the hole, and then start from there. So I, I totally get what you're saying. Uh, let me ask you this: Ever grown? Ever uh, done your own like maybe extracts or something like that? I'm a uh, I'm a post polio patient, epilepsy patient. I've been using cannabis for over 40 years. And uh, I've known for a long time that it helps my epilepsy. It, it, uh, I've been seizure-free for the last 10 years after taking, you know, uh, Dilantin for 30 years and still having seizures. So, by, uh, but the problem was getting a high, being able to have access to a high-quality cannabis. And it, it took, it was, cannabis was legal for 20 years. It took 10 years for me to be able to finally be able to afford, find an affordable, safe, and even then, I'm barely able to afford it now, and, and there's still, you know, it really took legalization for patients to be able to have access because when the entrepreneurs come in, you know, and have and, and able to do le recreational, then they'll they'll lay off the, the medical people. I've been going to court for the last 20 years for people who are trying to gain access, grow some, they might have too much, multiple packaging. The cops say you got 100 pounds. I, I would go down to the police department and say, and weigh it. No, it's not 100 pounds, it dried out, it's only 20 pounds. 10 pounds because the box, a, pack, a pound and a half because the stalks and stems and roots and dirts, and it's packaged multiply because there's different kinds and strains. And, and you know, I, I could tell you many horror stories of disabled people oh, being imagine. dragged through the courts. I and I had one kid that was tasered, he was a college student, but he had a couple ounces and his mom didn't want it in the house. Uh. They tasered him in jail because he would like freeze up and he didn't jump when they said how high, and that, you know, it's like. So I could, you know, that's so I, that's when I started working with attorneys and trying to educate them. And my goal is, I'm really a patient advocate. I want to work with doctors and patients because I know how how wonderful it's been for me. Right. I could get OxyContin. I could get any horrible painkiller. I hate p pills. I've been, you know, I'm. I, I it doesn't kill. It doesn't get rid of the pain, but it it brings it to a level where I can I can function. I can still, you know. But so many people are are suffering. And plus, all the side effects aren't there, and you know, the the cost is probably way less on the environment as well as on society so there's a lot of other things and not just the best medicine available it's m much more than that and it's like you said a movement uh, so I, I, I agree. But you know six or seven years ago I remember coming to the very first event of this and this is you know that like a week before I had gone to San Bernardino court for somebody who just got busted for small amounts and it was, I walked in and somebody the first thing I saw was somebody walking around with a four-foot plant you know walking around and going 
whoa, you know, and then seeing the tables stacked high, you know, now they don't even bother putting in jars, they just stack it in bags, like turkey bags of bud, you know, but, and the, the greatest thing for patients is the prices, they're coming down, 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 and, that's, that's what we want, I want patients to be able to have access to this, you know, everybody to have, especially the CBD products, and it took, uh, medical. It, we, nobody even knew what CBD was until we. Everybody says, "Oh, it's a gay." You know, we, we only did it to you know to legalize it. But we found so many things, wonderful things about cannabis and the other other cannabinoids that don't get you high. Right. You know, it's CBD. And products. that's that's exactly. You still get the medical values, but you're not getting a high. So you have like pet stuff, applications for children, and it, it, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. And you know, to lump it all into this category of Schedule One bad stuff which is completely being compared to these other drugs that are like way worse that will kill you. Yes. Uh, that, just right there, that will kill you uh, versus cannabis. So uh, I'm right there with you. I mean, my mom uh, was having feeling, having uh, anxiety problems. Yeah. She's 80 and it's like they, they want to give her uh, SSRI, serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And then if, you know, if you read the horrible side effects of these pill, cannabis, you know, she can't even. I, I mean, the, these pill, these pill, these prescription pills. I did try to give her cannabis, and THC is a little bit too much for her too. So she can't even handle cannabis. But she, I wish she could. I had a good CBD product, that, that a, a prescription CBD that a doctor could. You know, we can't really do it right now because it, she's under doctor's care, and we need to have. You know, these products that are in the future are going to be. You know. So complicated. Well, you have to bypass the doctor because the doctor is not going to prescribe CBD because they're not, um, for many reasons, right? We don't need to get into the the, the political. The, they can't because you can't make right. any claims of any medical that it has any medical, you know, benefits until it's, there's studies that show that it does. But right, but then you have there's a lot of reliable companies out there that are testing their stuff and it's high quality, it's consistent, and you know now that stuff is available. It's just the price, like you said, uh, trying to get it down to maybe a little bit more of, a, or having the insurance company pay for it, which yes. would be. Uh, essentially what and we would need. bring the price down too. When the insurance companies have to start paying for it, that's the, then they'll fight to get, you know, get the price low, you know. Right, right, right. But you can grow it in fields. You can grow, you know, once we start growing it in the valley, you know, it's like yeah, doing it on a large scale. Yeah. It's going to be one of the cheapest. It's going to be the bare aspirin of the future. You know? right. our, our major stumbling block is the federal government right now. Oh, yeah. And when they come online, everybody everybody else, that's, so that's what our major thrust and our major, we, that's it's going to take a, a concerted effort from a lot of people. That's why it's important that so many people get involved and, and get involved and help and support groups like Orange County Normal. You can go to our website. Uh, you can go to Orange County Normal, or you can go to California Normal, or you can go to uh, normal.org. Uh, there's a lot of different groups. Uh, Students for Sensible, Dr Sensible Drug Policy, uh, Americans for Safe Access. There's a lot of really good organizations. So uh, look for one, somebody in your area. If they're having meetings, try to uh, go to the meetings. This is how I became an expert, you know, basically, because they don't teach what I know in school. So that's why I was able to actually create this career. And it's important right now that people get involved before the big rush comes in, because once the federal government comes uh, the banks come online, then the larger everybody, all the big boys are going to come in, and that's why it's, we need to get involved now and get you know and get your place and find your niche, and and, and make a name for yourself. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it.